Hey guys, it's Brian, and this is a very special video today. If you watch any of my Monday morning meetups that happen on Facebook Live every Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, then you've probably heard me talk about case studies. And case studies are real deep dive research projects that I do on musicians and business people that I really dig a whole lot, that have a real special place in the world and are really successful and unique at what they do. For my drummer friends out there, I wanted to give you an example of the kind of thing that I do in a case study on a drummer. And as a recording session musician, these types of deep dive studies really help me to expand my vocabulary in looking at how other great drummers conceptualize drum parts for songs. And today's video is going to be a piece of a case study that I've been doing on Travis McNabb. Now, if you don't know who Travis is, Travis is a Nashville session ace that, in addition to touring with artists like Frankie Ballard and Gavin DeGraw, Travis has also recorded with artists like Better Than Ezra, Big and Rich, James Blunt, Little Big Town, Jake Owen, Lady Gaga, and the one he's probably most known for is Travis is the touring drummer and the recording drummer for a little country super duo called Sugarland. So we're going to take a song from Christian Bush's solo album, Southern Gravity, and this song is called Make Another Memory. If you'll look right below the video, there's a download link for the PDF, which is my handwritten transcription of Travis's part for this song. And there's also another link to a video that's just the drums. Today, we're going to lace the track in just a little bit so that you can get a sense of how the drums fit in the context of the music. The drum part on this song is very, very signature. It couldn't, it couldn't belong in any other song but this one. And to me, that's the hallmark of a great drum part on a great song and it really helps to elevate the song to a whole new level. And as I'm playing, you'll hear me give you a little commentary of very special things to pay attention to. Here's me playing Travis McNabb's drum part for Christian Bush's Make Another Memory. My strong drum entrance. This groove is a real basis for the whole song. No crash on the first beat of the verse. Hi-hat opening, you're gonna see it come up again. Now listen to the way he ends the verse. Leaves plenty of room for the vocal. Back to something that sounds like the intro. Notice how everything just follows that vocal rhythm. That fill's going to be important. You're going to see it a few times. Almost just like the first time. Back to that real tight verse. Again, no crash at the beginning of the verse. Hi-hat opening. Each place in each verse exactly the same. A little bit bigger fill. All right. Now, I want you to notice how short the fill is at the end of this chorus. There's a reason for that. You'll see there's two bars after the chorus before we get to the bridge. There's that two bars. Right here? You heard that before. This Motown y kind of thing. He set it up for you twice, and now it's in the bridge. Great fill coming out into that guitar solo. Notice the eighth notes in the ride, and you got some tambourine sixteenths kind of happening on top of that to really make it locomotive. Notice how he gets out of the solo, not a drum fill. Now, this little breakdown section, this next part is very signature. This is where the real touch comes in. Has a little bit of what we've heard before, but just everything about the way he set that up, very, very signature to him. 
Now check this fill at the end of this chorus. First time we've heard a crash ride the whole song, and it's on the outro of the song. Check the ending of it. There you go. Bob's your uncle. So that was Travis McNabb's drum part for the Christian Bush song, Make Another Memory. I hope you dug that. Uh, I've really enjoyed digging into probably three dozen tunes that Travis has played on, transcribing the parts and learning these songs exactly the way that he played them. It's been a real eye-opening experience for me as a recording session musician. It really helps me to understand how someone else interprets a song. It makes me better at my job. That's why I do these things. And hopefully it'll make you better at playing the drums for songs as well. So make sure you download the transcription below. There's a link there. And if you dig this, this kind of video, then leave a comment and let me know. Uh, make sure you, you like this video. If you don't subscribe to me now on social media, please, by all means, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram, Twitter, all those different places. I'm easy to find. Just follow me. Thanks for watching. And as usual, go out there and keep being your own version of awesome.